Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Saturday, which means it is time for another Noz Watches Flip Flappers. So, uh, oh boy, what happened in the last episode? Oh boy, we had our, um, our heterosexual fucking, uh, friendship camp, where they went to an island, and we figured, and we learned that Flip Flap doesn't exactly have a great track record of fucking, uh, child welfare, I guess. Um... And uh, now, and then, look, as they were leaving, they got sucked back into pure illusion, which I guess can just happen now. Like, all right. So I guess it ad adventure? Question mark. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know. Let's let's see what fucking happens, shall we? In three, two, one, and go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Spooky clock. Oh no. What's with the fucking... What's with the fucking Madoka Magica squiggle on the fucking clock? What? What? But... Okay, excuse me, Nani the fuck. Kill the rabbit. Kill the rabbit. So spaghetti till you get it wet. <laughs> oh boy, they got their brains, they got their brains scrambled. Okay, but how did they get back? Like... Oh, there's a time skip. Neat. That's- that- alright, neat. We gotta fucking... So... Papika has something that's around her wrist, and Kokona gets something she has to hold. So, alright. Well, I guess whatever neat adventure they went on last time, we just don't get to see it. Neato. And they've, and they've lost, like, well, like, and they've lost two more shards. Radical. Oh, and we got the spooky ghost episode. Great. Spooktastic. Sup? Sup, former friend. Oh, jeez. So, so I'm guessing, like, the, the adventures we're not allowed to see, like, nothing really of import happened. Just kind of... Kind of was a thing. Alright. I didn't need to see that sick adventure anyway. Oh boy. So that looks like that looks like a spooky ghost school where spooky ghost things happen. But yet, e evil McBest friend is there. Um, so they gonna team up or what? Huh. I mean, hey, maybe they'll have a better control of their powers this time. Man, it's so fucking dark in here. There's actually a kind of fucking with everything. Oh boy. I chose really late in the day to record this. Oh no. Hooray! Umbrella friendship. Fucking... Papika was running around like barefoot all the time, like... Like, it's such- it's- it's- mmm. Like, that's- that's the thing where I'm just like, oh boy. Come back! We have to beat you before you steal things! 
Because you're in the low wage bracket, we can't trust you. Oh no. I want a ghost to just come out of nowhere and just punch Papika right in the fucking face. Oh, Boochan's fucking dead. I can't believe Boochan is fucking dead. Oh, that's a spoop. That's a fucking spoop right there. You made the first mistake. You split up to look for clues. What a cunt. <laughs> what a cunt. Holy shit, there's being- there's being an idiot, and then there's... And then there's being that. Jesus. Oh no, they don't have eyeballs. Ah, shit. Yes! How friendly of the ghost. Is that gonna be the twist at the end of the ghost just like, Oh no, we're friendly. Hi! Welcome to our world where no one has eyes or mouths. Every day we live is suffering. Well. That's a thing. It's like a fucking... It's like, it's just like the fucking bad juju from fucking, uh... Uh, Breath of the Wild, uh... Oh yeah, it's called Malice. Why'd I forget that? Well, at least outside... Nope. The rain is blood. I can't believe Papika is fucking dead. I can't believe Papika is fucking dead. Oh, jeez. There is an awful lot of underage titties in this show. Look at how friendly they are! They're so nice! This is gonna backfire horribly. I mean, like, I'm hoping- I'm hoping that this turns around and subverts the whole horror thing with the monsters being nice people, but... And why- why Boochan flashing the lesbian gang sign here? Fucking welcome to St. Mildred's school for fucking shitbirds. Oh, that- yep, yeah, mmm! Okay, so what the fuck is Yayaka doing? Like, she's obviously been there longer, and she's even got the haircut. She bought the shirt. She went to the gift shop, and she got enough shirts to last her a week. Aren't you chuckle fucks supposed to be looking for the goddamn... Looking for the goddamn shard or whatever? He's gay. What 
What a wonderful doll. Like, that's gonna be the twist. It's gonna be, like, fucking... Like, oh, look at these monsters. They're so fucking nice. And it's like, nope, joke's on you, chuckle fuck. They were secretly actually evil all, all along. Gonna go that route and be lazy. At least someone fucking remembers. The doll is watching you sleep. So what happened to looking for the fragments? Like... Like, this is like that fucking episode of Spongebob where fucking, um, Squidward moved to Squid Village. Except the montage is more drawn out. Alright, this is getting old now. They're just repeating the ex They're just repeating the exact same shit and putting different lip flaps on it. Man, it's a good thing the doll is watching all the lesbianism go down. It's alright, it only hurts the first time. Oh, god damn it! They have a bunk bed for fuck's sake! Now kiss. Now kiss. They've got a fucking bunk bed. They're doing stuff. Oh, they fucking. I came in here with my squad. They're all fucking dead. My squad is down. Need backup. Need backup. Black Hawk down. I bet you haven't even killed any of these monsters. She just whips out a nine. Like, nah. <laughs> Ain't no rest. Man, remember when Yayako was the best friend? Now she's just kind of a cunt. She doesn't need to get affected when she's blinded by the joining of the fucking clan. Because Yuri bait, that's why. Whoa, okay. That, alright then. Jesus fucking Christ, like, I don't even... So they are just gonna do the thing where it's just like, Oh no, look, they're so friendly, except they're not. Like, it being a loop, like, neat, that's a good way to save on your animation budget, I guess. Fam lamb How the fuck did that happen? Are you, have their uniforms been there the whole time? I mean, if the world loops, then things shouldn't fucking change, right? Just... Okay, that's not creepy at all. Jeezum. Man, it's almost as if Papaka's fucking useless. 
And he's been absorbed. Boo, Boo has been absorbed into the goddamn... <laughs> Poor bastard. It's almost as if time don't work here. Fucking just kick the door down. Just use your powerful fucking lolly fists. I mean, isn't this just your school? Wouldn't you know the layout fairly well? Like, wouldn't you know if there's a fucking di room that's supposed to be there but it's not? What? Yep, there it is! And they got fucking murdered to death! The end! That or maybe it was just the timing with the clock. That's just- that's just fucking awful. Oh, Jesus! I mean, they're ghosts, right? Like, a wall shouldn't stop them. They shouldn't have physicality. Oh, hi, MC Escher. Like, they're just ghosts, right? I mean, it's a good thing- good thing that they're polite ghosts that don't want to break through walls. Oh, for Christ's sake. Come play with us, Boo-chan. Forever and ever and ever. That fucking girl with the giant fucking fuck fist. That's, mm. That, that's... I feel like maybe we're following the wrong team here. Like, the transformations kind of, are kind of lame compared to that. Like, that giant fuck... Okay, and now we're on the fucking JoJo opening where they defeated Dio. Stop, Platinum! Like, for real, these guys are going in in fucking school uniforms, and then the fucking bad guys are going in with grappling hooks and guns and shit. Oof. Wow, the music doesn't match this at all, does it? The music does not match this at all, jeezum. It's not an item... It's not an item that she cares about, so it don't count. Oh boy. It's almost as if Coconut's got really nothing going for her, isn't it? Congrats, Boo. You fucking bro broke out of it. Like, literally at the last moment you could be useful. Like, unless he's packing a gun, like... Yeah! I feel like maybe we're following the wrong team here. Man, it's a good thing the plot just really wants the good guys to win, then. Yep, and here we go, right back into someone's fucking F list. Giant hand reaching under the shirt. There, that's, that's a ding on the fucking fetish list. Just grabbing right on them titties. But why? Oh, she she grabbed them both. Jeez, I would have thought I would have thought Papika would have. They're just gonna light her up. What the fuck?
When in doubt, just use your fucking love interest as a projectile. Got you, fam. Alright, I guess anything will fucking work. God, I'm still not a fan of these designs. I'm still not a fan of the fucking Magical Girl designs. I'm still very confused as to why Koken is the weapon. Like, if anything, like, she, she doesn't seem the type, but I guess that's the point. Alright, well, there's your amorphous. Fucking whip out the guns. Fucking kill each other. Oh, congratulations, you got two out of five. The other three are being used by the KKK. Wait, is she gonna- Oh boy, she's gonna do the honorable thing! Good night, creepy doll. So when do they fucking shoot each other and just fucking take the amorphous? Yeah, there it is. Hand it over, I'ma shoot you. Got like a neat little like purple facet on that. That's cute. I mean, they're they're gonna have to fucking like the KKK are gonna have to fucking beat Pap uh, Coconut over the head and fucking cut off her leg to get that amorphous out of her thigh. But so, I mean, they'll they'll get it eventually. I mean, they've gotta they've gotta fucking murder her eventually. So I mean, honestly, letting her have one's not that big a deal. Oh boy, and I'm just gonna assume they're gonna continue not having post credit sequences and just keep you having, uh, next, next time on Dragon Ball Z's. So, oh boy, so this ep this anime, like, is really neato, but a lot of it seems to just be, like, just, hey, let's take this neat idea we have and just kind of follow it, but... Follow it exactly to the letter, like, like we had we had it here, and it was like, and you had those monsters, and you had the monsters. They weren't being like blatantly antagonistic, right? But and that's that's neat. Like, like yes, that's not exactly original, but it's something that it's it's something that doesn't happen as often. Like, you're more likely gonna be like, oh no, it's just the monsters. Oh no. And if the monsters aren't, uh, 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 fucking antagonistic, then you could take it, like, a billion different ways. Like, be it, like, they be cursed, or the whole thing's an accident, or misunderstanding. You know, like, there's a bunch of shit you can fucking do. But, no, it's like, no, the monsters were just pretending to be non-antagonistic. Secretly, no, they just trap you in a time loop. And, honestly, time loop in a spooky, in a spooky situation is... Oh boy, greetings! Ah, like, like time loops in spooky situations. Like, they feel like I feel like they're kind of played out. Like they're like the 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 default thing. Like, oh no, we're in a spooky situation, and there's a clock involved. Oh shit! Time for a time loop. Like, I don't know. Like, I I get it. It's supposed to be like a like a little like comedy magical girl anime. Uh, with, like, a light story going on there, but... I feel like there's a lot of laziness going on that... Like, they're, they're, they're really, they they could be going, like, whole hog with it, you know? It's like, there's no... Like, what's the point of making a parody 
of making a parody if you're just going to do the thing, you know? That'd be like if I made a Scooby-Doo parody, but I just did Scooby-Doo. Like, I didn't... I, like, I didn't explore, like, the implications that Shaggy is fucking stoned off his gourd the whole time, or... Fucking, oh, what was it? Like, like there was one Scooby-Doo parody, like, I don't know I'm getting on the Scooby-Doo thing now, but, like, now it's in my head, and I'm remembering it. There's this one Scooby-Doo parody I watched, like, fucking years ago, like, when I was still in, like, fucking middle school, I think. And, um, and, like, the whole premise of it was that nobody else was actually there. <laughs> like, it was just, like... Basically, everyone but Shaggy, like, okay, Scooby exists, but Scooby can't talk, right? Shaggy is there, he's driving around in his van, he's essentially a homeless guy. And, like, Fred, Velma, like, or, like they weren't called Fred and Velma or Shaggy Scooby, you know, like, the general archetypes were there. And everyone was kind of taken to their logical extreme, like, Fred being the Boy Scout, uh, Velma being the nerd, fucking Daphne being the slurt, um, Scooby being, like, the dumb, goofy dog. And basically the whole idea was that Shaggy was just so high on narcotics that he's just imagining all these imaginary friends. And, like, the, the whole gist of it was, like, you'd have, like, hey, here's the Scooby-Doo adventure! And then it would just hard cut to him what he's actually doing, and it's, like, fucked up. Because he's hallucinating the whole thing. And I forget what it's called, and I and if I could find it, I would. Like, I, I don't know where it is. I've tried to find it, and I, I have no idea, like, what the fuck even to type in to fucking find it. Um, uh, but it was really, it was really neat. It was really neat. It was like a little animated thing. Um, yeah, let me, if you know what it is, fucking let me know, because I, I wouldn't mind seeing that again. But, yeah, like, that's the kind of thing, though. Like, if you're gonna do a parody, and you're going, like, like when you're doing the thing, don't just do the thing, like, kind of poke at it a little bit, like, deconstruct it a little bit, because that's where the humor comes in. I'm not saying this isn't funny, I'm just saying that it's, like, Oh, it's it's one of these. Okay, I'm a little disappointed then. I don't know. It was still it was still good. It was still good, but right now it's just magical girls ma magical girl show. There's a little bit of that's a tiny that's not like irreverent at all. It's just a magical girl show. Yeah, that is branded as a parody. I, I, like I'm assuming it's a parody because of like like what I fucking read on synopsises and shit. But but it's just doing magical girl stuff. While, like, just... And I get it, Magical Girl stuff, like, the like there's the whole fetish behind that. But, like, ramping the fetishes up to 11 and pulling from the creator's F-list isn't exactly a deconstruction of the fetish fetishization of Magical Girls. You're just kind of doing it, but being worse about it. It's... Mmm... I don't know. Like, I, I still like the show. I still like Coke, and I still like Papika. I still want to see where Yayaka stuff goes. I'm just a little bit like, mm, mm, is this really all you can do? Like, is this really all you can do? We're five episodes in, we got fucking five, six, seven, eight. We got another eight left to do. It's just, is that really all you got? Like, you got nothing more for me? Come on now. Come on now. You can do better than that. But. Yeah, like, beyond that, like, there's not really much of substance here, is there? It's just, they go to pure illusion after a time skip. They're still just as useless as they were in the previous episodes where we went to pure illusion. Uh, they get stuck in a time loop. Fucking Papaka falls for it. Yayaka's the one who has to break them out of it, because Yayaka develops a conscience. Like, it's kind of trite, you know? It just kind of just... Is a been there, done that. It's like, oh, well, like once you once you get the idea of what's gonna happen, it's just like, no, it's just a logical progression, and just. I'm not saying I didn't like it. I'm just saying that it's. Like instead of getting like a brand new candy bar, I got like the, I went to the corner store and I bought the same candy bar I've been getting since I was eight. You know, like. I don't know, like not bad, not groundbreaking. Kind of like Goblin Slayer, except Goblin Slayer is a little bit, a tiny bit more interesting. You know, like, not, not, you know, like, not groundbreaking. Fun to look at. Same thing here, just kind of junk food. Eh, alright. Yeah, got them to say that's going up tomorrow, I guess. That's gonna be fun. Yeah. Anyway, everybody, let me know what you think down there in the comments. Whether you agree with me, you disagree with me, or you want to bring up something that I omitted, or, like, you have, like, a perspective on this episode that I just don't get. Because, 
apparently that happened last episode too like the whole friendship fucking adventure like i just i apparently i just missed the fucking point on that so yeah i mean it, it can happen it can fucking happen yeah let me know down there in the comments whether you agree with me disagree with me or you think i'm a dingus and uh, make sure to like comment fair, subscribe share on social media tell your friends about everything including those the lps and everything of that because those are fun too like the mario lps fucking great i'm loving that uh, we should actually finish recording that today, actually. That should be fun. Um, yeah. If you really love my content, you can always support me on Patreon, which gets you access to patrons-only Discord channel on the open Discord server. And uh, you, you can recommend things to be Let's Played, reacted to, streamed, whatever. And, yeah. As always, I'm Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most importantly of all, become a trash memo today. And I'll see you a round. Uh,